Hey guys, it's Giridhar here and I have with me here another Zenfone from Asus and this time it's the Zenfone Max. So let's go ahead and inspect the box content. So this is an unusual Asus packaging with some highlights on the features of this particular mobile and the bottom the sticker gives you gist of what the mobile is all about. So let us go ahead and open up the box and inspect the box contents. So there you have the Asus Zenfone Max. Uh, it's pretty heavy. I think it's around 200 grams. So let's keep the mobile aside and inspect what else is there in the box. We have the manual. We have the warranty card and user guide. Then we have a sticker with the IMEA details. And then we have a wall unit charger which is a 1 ampere charger a data cable and also an USB OTG cable. I think this device can charge another device as well. So uh, they have provided a USB OTG cable so that you can plug in your data cable to this OTG cable connected to the mobile and charge another device. So let's keep the contents of the package aside and inspect the Asus Zenfone Max. The Asus Zenfone Max feels heavy uh, as it is around 202 grams and it is also thick it measures around uh, 10 mm on its thicker side but it's got a nice feel to it. So it's a 5.5 inch device and at the back you have a, a leather finished kind of texture here and that aids the grip in the device. So at the back you also have the 13 megapixel camera with the laser sensor for uh, focusing and a dual LED flash. On the right side you have the power button and also the volume keys. On the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack. On the left side there is nothing and at the bottom you have the micro USB socket and the mic. Above the display is the secondary camera and also the earpiece along with the usual sensors. At the bottom you have the Android navigation keys which are not backlit. The back is removable. Removing the back reveals the 5000 mAh battery. And also you can see a dedicated slot for a micro SD card. And you also have a slot for your SIM cards. So it accepts micro SIM cards and it's a dual SIM device. Both the SIM are LTE capable. So let me power up the device and show you the Asus Zenfone Max from inside. So it took a while for the device to set up initially and now it's all booted up and I have the device uh, all powered up for you. So this one is running on the Asus uh, proprietary skin. It's called the uh, Zen UI. And Zen UI has some nifty little features like smart grouping and uh, kind of advanced notification center. Uh, we will talk about this device and its feature uh, later on. So for now, let's go ahead and see the specifications of this particular device. So the Asus Zenfone Max is running on Android OS 5.0. Uh, it is powered by the Qualcomm MSM 8916 Snapdragon 410 chipset uh, with uh, the CPU clocked at 1.2 GHz and it also supported by the Adreno 306 chipset. It's got an internal memory of uh, 16 GB and it's got also got 2 GB of RAM. Uh, the internal memory is expandable by uh, up to 128 GB using the micro SD card. Uh, the device has got 13 megapixel camera at the rear and 5 megapixel camera on the front. So let me quickly open up the camera application and uh, show you the Asus Zenfone Max's camera capability. It's got a 13 megapixel camera at the rear and the camera is assisted by a laser focus sensor and you can see that the color reproduction is spot on. Uh, the violets and the pinks are almost accurate while the orange, green and yellow and uh, blues are uh, perfect. So uh, uh, pink is always a tricky color to be reproduced by any camera so uh, that's okay. So it is an f2.0 lens and you can see that it's got uh, good depth of focus. Uh, but right now I am in daylight and even in daylight I can see that uh, there is a slight pixelation on the images and the images are not really crisp 
But anyway, we'll have to do some in-depth tests to come to a conclusion on the camera. So for now, this is just a quick overview of the device. And my first impression is this device is going to be an impressive. It's got impressive specification and it's got an impressive battery here. And uh, the design is also something new and fresh from Asus Zenfone series. And I'm going to be using this device as my primary device for the next few weeks. And uh, uh, I will let you know my thoughts on the Asus Zenfone Max soon. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is Giridhar signing off.